Hello, welcome to God's View. So glad you joined us today. Remember, go through those prayer lines at the bottom of the screen so that we can agree with you. Got to tell you, I mean, God is doing amazing things on those prayer lines. I mean, people are getting healed. I mean, not having to have surgery, pancreatitis, I mean, uh, uh, Parkinson's disease. I mean, just, I can go on and on. One lady that had been bleeding forever, she said um, she was healed, it stopped, and I mean, just wonderful things. I mean, mm -hmm. we'd go on and on and on, but uh, I just want to, Welcome you to the show because we're going to be talking about the Holy Spirit today mm -hmm. and there's always so much to cover so I don't want to take a lot of time but remember to call those prayer lines and with that I just want to welcome all of the viewers to the show especially our new viewers that were clicking through the channel and just uh, found us or going to watch us for the first time you really don't want to leave today it's about the Holy Spirit and I can tell you what uh, the Holy Spirit who loves to be talked about. Mm -hmm. He's the same spirit oh, that raised yeah. Christ Jesus from the dead yeah. and quickens our mortal bodies. He'll raise you from dead places today. Mm -hmm. He Amen. is the power. He is the one that Jesus left and you don't want to leave. You want to hear about the Holy Spirit. And there is a presence and such a power when yeah. we talk about the Holy Spirit, even in the studio or when I preach on the Holy Spirit, it's like, wow. Yeah. I mean, just this yeah. awesome, awesome yeah. presence comes. Because yeah. he likes being talked about because mm -hmm. he knows that he's the one who leads and guides into all truth. He's yeah. the one who comforts you. He's the one who counsels you. So it's a great thing because yeah. he wants to do all those mm -hmm. things. So of course he loves us to talk about him. So I'm Charlene Bechtemir, one of your God's View hosts. So glad again you joined us. Jennifer Griffin, Joshua Griffin, married, and Lana Gardner. And we welcome you. Yes. And so we want to get right to the Holy Spirit, Holy Ghost. Some people call him Holy Ghost. I remember children used to say, I don't like him to be called ghost. So a lot of times I would yeah. say Holy Spirit, depending right. on where I was or, you know, um, you know, if you're in Sunday school or something, some kids just get freaked yeah. out, weirded out. So, you know, it's Holy Spirit. It's okay. Yeah. That's what he is, you That's know. Right. So, well, who wants I, to go first? Can I go first? Yes. Can we, go first. Um, <laughs> oops, yes. I just... It just, it just left me. Oh, anyway. No, you can't. <laughs> it just left, it just left me. Um, he will never leave That's electronic. The, the, the cool thing <laughs> is before um, Jesus ascended back to the Father, the mm -hmm. last thing he did in Acts, yes. I think it was Acts 1, 8, 9, he, he, he said, receive power, receive, um, I can't Ghost. read exactly. Holy well, Ghost, he, basically. I think the important thing is he said to the 12 disciples, have you received? Have you received the Holy Ghost since you believe? That's okay, well, you know, no, that, that wasn't at that time hard. because yeah. this it was before the time. Holy Spirit came. Yes. Um, in Acts 2 is when the Holy Spirit, he said, go wait for me to bring the promise, right. the promise of the Holy Spirit. And so that was the last thing he said before he ascended to heaven. And oh. I know I just lost my little script, exact scripture, but to me that it's really important if that was the last thing yes, he said. Yes, it's the said, last thing he said. You go wait in that Then room, people say, well, that's, from that's not from God or it's not for today, but there's another scripture that says, you know, for you and those are that are to come. As far as, um, you know, I, I don't have it right here in my scripture, but talks those far off that right. means yes. all of as the things the lord John god should call mm -hmm. and so mm -hmm. it's i believe that it's such an important mm -hmm. thing that people don't understand or they say it's not for today mm. but it, it's for now it believe me it's for, for now. now it's exciting yes. <laughs> like amen. you said amen it's amen. exciting mm -hmm. holy ghost is exciting I, I also like the fact that it says that um in 1 Corinthians 6, 19, it says, Do you not know that your body is a temple of the Holy yeah. Spirit who is within you, whom you have received as a gift from God? A, a lot of our concept of God is, well, he's far off. I mean, there's even songs. He's watching us from this distance, but that's not true. Mm, that's mm. right. It says, Do you not know that you are the temple of the Holy temple. Spirit? So, mm -hmm. so we're talking about God who wants to dwell inside of you. Mm-hmm. 
never leaving, forsaking. He's there, yes. right there with you. Mm -hmm. And that's why this is so exciting. Right. There is no other God no. that yes. dwells inside of you. Well, without the Holy Spirit, we don't have the power. But with the Holy Spirit, we have the power for witnessing, amen? amen. For healing, for mm -hmm. deliverance, mm -hmm. for, mm -hmm. I know for me, where's my keys? Holy Spirit, where did I put this? <laughs> He's our, he talks to you, mm -hmm. he helps mm -hmm. you all the time. Yes. If I didn't have the Holy Spirit, oh, I'd he was involved all looking in, for my keys. Yeah, he was involved in absolutely everything. He was involved in creation. And you can read it in Genesis mm -hmm. 1, 1 and 2. I, I really don't have a lot of time there, but he was involved in it. He's the helper. He's all these yeah. things. I mean, the Holy Spirit was prophesied way back in the Old Testament. And that's why it kept saying over and over and over there to go and wait in the yeah. upper room. They waited years and years and years to go to that upper room when the Holy Spirit came upon them. And you know, on uh, I want to read uh, John 14. It says, uh, John 14, 15, and it goes, I think I'm going to read... Uh, until uh, 17 maybe if you love me keep my commands and I will ask the father and he will give you another advocate to help you and be with you forever and it's like what mm -hmm. Jen was saying in Acts I always used to love that scripture he said for the Holy Spirit's for you and is for as many as the Lord God shall call far off that's that's mm -hmm. all of our children's mm -hmm. children's children grandchildren, mm -hmm. everybody right. and so it was for all of us and he said the spirit of truth see the Holy Spirit is the spirit of truth and if you don't have the Holy Spirit and the baptism of the Holy Spirit you can't get the truth because the Holy Spirit is the one that will open up the word to you it's not only getting tongues or praying in the Spirit man he's the one who bring this truth if you're having a hard time understanding the Word of God get baptized yes, in the Holy yes. Spirit and honor him because he's the one that will lead and guide you right back to the Father and open up this word you would be so amazed how that word opens up to you the Spirit of truth he says the world cannot accept him because it neither sees him nor knows him, but you know him, for he lives with you and will be in you. And I will not leave you as orphans. I will come to you. See, the Holy Spirit, you know, we all know in the Old Testament that the Holy Spirit came upon, especially the prophets, and they'd prophesy and they'd do different things. Yeah. Well, now the Holy Spirit is the extension of all the gifts in Corinthians, and he dwells within us. So we can move in all of those giftings, and man, we yeah. need the Holy Spirit, right. don't we? Right. We right. do. A perfect and example. I, are you done with that one? Because yes. I'm going to read ahead. the scripture yeah. exactly how um, okay. yeah, it's because in the you Amplified. Were um, Acts 2, 39, it says, For the promise of the Holy Spirit, Yes is for you and your children and for all those who are far yeah. off including the gentiles as yes. many as the lord our god calls, calls to himself so yes. if you're born again you need to be filled by the with the holy spirit right, right. You, you, and that's just what it says yes, <laughs> so yes. it's clear acts 19 2. yeah um, yes I, I, I love in john 14 Two 25 eight. it says jesus is saying i've told you these things while mm -hmm. i'm still Sweet. with you but the helper comforter advocate intercessor counselor strengthener standby the yeah. holy spirit yeah. whom the holy father Ghost. will send in my name in my place to represent me and act yes. on my behalf yes. so there's Amen. such unity there as well so you have the father you have jesus and you have the holy spirit yeah. as one indwelling yes. you know josh I, a great example of the Holy Spirit was I was at a party and uh, it was a denominational party, this big denomination and me. <laughs> and and uh, one of the girls, this darling girl sitting next to me, young, cute girl, she said to me, I just came back from the mission field. I've been in Africa for five years. I said, oh my goodness, how exciting. I said, you must have seen a lot of people come to the Lord. And her answer was, no, we didn't see anybody come to the Lord, oh, but we bizarre, planted too. a lot of seed. And, I, and after being dumbfounded for about 30 seconds, it dawned on me, these people don't, they haven't asked for the power. Mm -hmm. yeah. They think they have it. They're operating in their own strength. Mm -hmm. They're out there on the mission field and they come home burnt out yeah. and they can't Weird. understand why. Mm -hmm. It's because they haven't made that Acts 19.2 mm -hmm. that you're talking about. The question that Paul asked to the disciples of the day of Pentecost, have you received the Holy Ghost since you believed? Have you? 
Yeah, Holy it's Hallelujah. awesome. Holy Spirit's awesome. I mm -hmm. couldn't do anything without him. Nope. And uh, that's why Jesus said, you need him. And it's, it's, he said, it's expedient that I go away. Because if I don't go away, he said, the comforter, the helper, the counselor, the one who lead and guide you into all truth, yep cannot come yeah. and so he he jesus himself when he died and he's sitting at the right hand of the father ever making intercession for us the holy spirit is the one you must honor the holy spirit is the one you need yeah. to acknowledge the holy spirit mm -hmm. because yeah. and and when you do your whole ministry will turn around your whole life will turn around you'll you'll get discernment when you go into places of something that may yeah. happen or not happen mm -hmm. you'll get all kinds of things it's the power you know holy spirit is the power of yeah. god and you know what many people i'm, I'm going to take this opportunity to say this right here Many people, the reason why you see no power, and, and, and you, you guys, you always hear this here in America, well, this isn't happening, or miracles aren't happening, or, mm -hmm. or this isn't happening. You know why? Because they've nullified the Word of God. And I'm going to take a moment here just to preach to you. Because in Mark 7, it says, The Pharisees and some of the teachers of the law who had come from Jerusalem gathered around Jesus and saw some of his disciples eating food with hands that were defiled, that is unwashed the Pharisees and all the Jews do not eat unless they give their hands a ceremonial washing holding to what let's just listen to this the tradition of the elders and and where I'm going with all this and I'm gonna read is because of the traditions of man yeah. because of all of the traditions and laws that people go by or programs yeah. or whatever they think is right mm -hmm. they have nullified the power of the Holy Ghost the Holy Spirit so he says, uh, right here, washing, holding to the tradition of the elders when they come from the marketplace. They do not eat unless they wash. And they observe many other traditions, such as washing of cups, pitchers, kettles. So the Pharisees and the teachers of the law ask Jesus, why don't your disciples live according to the tradition? <laughs> Whoa. Why don't they live according to the tradition of the elders instead of eating their food with the filed hands? Whoa. Mm -hmm. Listen to what Jesus said. He replied, Isaiah was right when he prophesied about you hypocrites. Mm -hmm. As it is written, these people honor me with their lips, but their hearts are far from me. They worship me in vain because their teachings are merely human rules wow. how many rules do we have in the church right now and they're saying there's no power of god are you kidding me excuse me i'm seeing people raised from i mean we there's so much healing through this show right mm. now and salvation because you know what we honor the holy spirit right that will raise you from the dead and listen to this he says you have to let go you have to let go of your commands let go of the commands of God and are holding to, on to human tra traditions. Sorry. Mm -hmm. You have let go. Let's put it. You have let go of the commands of God and are holding on to human tra traditions. I'm telling you, you want power in your ministry. You want power in your life. Mm -hmm. Let go of these rules, these traditions uh, of men. Then he says, you have a fine way of setting aside the commands of God in order to observe your own traditions for Moses said honor your father and mother and if anyone who curses their father or mother is to be put to death but you say that if anyone declares that what might have been used to help their father or mother is Corban that is devoted to God then you no longer let them do anything for their father or the mother thus you nullify the word of God by your tradition that you have handed down yep. and you do many things like that. Yep. And then Jesus tells them, the whole crowd, listen to me, everyone, listen to us, every one of you. This is the yes. word of God. We're not Absolutely. making this stuff up. Listen, he says. Are you so dull? No, he says, listen to everyone and understand this. Nothing outside a person can defile him by going into them. Rather, it is what comes out of a person that defiles them. And then he goes, do you see that nothing that enters? Well, I'm not going to keep on going on. We made our point. Yeah. We made our point right here. I could read this whole thing. And Jesus himself said, you nullify. Nullify. So in other words, you have no power. You have no power. 
Because you want to hold on to some tradition. Right. You want to yeah. control. I mean, right. that's yes. what it comes down to. Right. Yeah. Man's Hang control over exactly. something. Yes. And, 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 and that's why you said Amen. the body of Christ isn't moving like it ought to be moving. And, you yes. know, mm -hmm. it, we, we want to control. And if this goes on, wow, what if this person thinks this? It's man-pleasing. It really yes. is. Well, you, mm -hmm. can, you can have a form of godliness and deny the power. Yes. Yes. So, I mean, let's, let's, yeah, all, let's, let's all take our, our batteries out of our cell phones and throw them yeah. away. Yeah. Who are you going to contact? Oh. Who are you going to reach yeah. with your phone yeah, yeah, if it's dead? And that's where, I mean, even Jesus, when he was led out into the desert to be tempted, it said that he was in perfect communication with the Holy Spirit. And it said that uh, he returned from the Jordan and was led by the, the Holy Spirit, Spirit into the wilderness. Yes. But that's where all of the power is in the Holy Spirit exactly. and dwelling in us. We have no power of our own selves. We can do absolutely nothing. 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 Yeah. And so if your life is feeling yeah. powerless, somebody's lied to you or you haven't heard. And there was a time mm -hmm. too where, where, where Peter comes into the, the, the region and, and they said, we didn't know there was such thing as the Holy uh -huh. Spirit. Yeah. We've only had the baptism of water. Yes. Uh -huh. But the Holy Spirit desires to dwell in us. That's the power. Mm -hmm. Put the battery in your life and have full power. Yeah, you know? Jesus hated religion. Yeah, and, yeah. and because it was man-made. That's yes. right. When people That's operate right. in His spirit, keep going mm -hmm. by the law. Well, and you know, praying in the spirit is such a powerful tool yes. for us too. Um, you know, it talks in Jude 20, it says, "But you, beloved, build yourself up in the foundation of your most holy faith. Continually progress, rise like and." edifies higher and higher pray in the holy spirit so what happens when you're praying in the spirit you're building yourself up but also when you yeah. have to answer a question or you're facing a situation that you don't know what to do that you're ha having yes. a struggle Hallelujah. you know what you can pray even quietly in the spirit you can go oh, you know, just yes. really quiet, yeah. and God will bring to yes. you the answer. The right. Holy Spirit yeah. will bring to your mind what to say next. Yes. He right. promises that. So try it. <laughs> it works. Yes. Right. Well, and I had just had Romans eight twenty six too. In the same way, the Spirit helps us in mm -hmm. our weaknesses. We do not know what we ought to pray, but the Spirit Himself intercedes for us through us wordless That's groans. That's right. Yeah. So I He keeps that. going and going and going. Mm -hmm. So I think the question is. How do we receive this Holy Spirit? Amen. <laughs> and and who is it for? You know, it's right. really Amen. for only Amen. a born again believer. Mm -hmm. And who is what does that mean? Yeah. A born it's again true. believer is someone that has invited Jesus Christ and, yeah. to take over their life. Yeah. And what does it mean to receive the Holy Spirit? It means that you ask Jesus to fill you to overflowing with everything He has for you because he wants to give it to you, his entire inheritance. He wants to give to you. All of heaven rejoices when one sinner comes to the Lord. Lord. Mm -hmm. And you know, in the book of Acts, the Paul 19.6, they laid hands on <coughs> people That's right. to receive mm -hmm. the Holy Spirit. Yes. And of course, they began speaking in new tongues and, and they received that way. In, the, in Pentecost, uh, uh, Acts 2, there was 120 that just waited, just waited. They were all waiting on the Holy Spirit. And of course, they, they all began to prophesy and speak in tongues. And Cornelius, a great man of God, just listen in the book of Acts 10, 44. So right now, I just want to, I just want to by proxy lay hands on you to receive everything from God that he wants to give you. You know, it's interesting. A lot of people don't want everything from God. They're, they're, I think they're saved. I think they're, they're even born again. But like even in the Gospels, where there were 500 people that saw Jesus rise from the dead. Mm -hmm. And when they said, do you want more of Jesus? Only 120 mm -hmm. out of the 500 went to the upper room. So if that's what you're satisfied with, it's like buying a pair of pants with one leg. Okay, okay. But Jesus has it all for you. The Holy Spirit has it mm -hmm. all for you. Just mm -hmm. ask. Yeah, and you know, that's, it's really complacency on our part. You know, and yep. if that's what we're saying that, you know, 
you know, if there's 500 and 120, mm -hmm. it's kind of like I have to go wait up in the upper room. <laughs> you know, they had uh -huh. to wait. Right. They had yeah. to wait. And so do sometimes we have to wait. And sometimes there's things that we have. God, uh, he helps us with it. But um, it's not a works thing, but he, by the Holy Spirit, by him showing us, he'll have us lay things down for mm -hmm. him. I mean, yeah. it's true. And they waited mm -hmm. hundreds of years, not yeah. just yeah. only in that upper right. room. Right. They waited hundred years for, for that the promise, promise to come right. to pass mm -hmm. of the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. And so, I mean, it's we do have to wait, and that's a good word. Some, mm -hmm. We have to wait on the yeah. Lord sometimes, don't yeah. we? And thousands yeah. of years before that. Yes. And in religion binds people from receiving the Holy Spirit. Right. For some reason, you know, these big denominations, just like the 500, mm -hmm. saw Jesus rise, but only 100 made it to the upper room. How many denominations will deny yeah. asking a simple question? I want it all. Well, yeah. I want to receive either, it all. Maybe they don't have it yet, or maybe like we talked earlier, there's a there's like this will get a little bit messy. Mm -hmm. This might get a they little might bit lose right. control. <laughs> you know, it yes. really boils down to. And you're not going to run the programs like you want to run right. it. It, it because <gasps> if the Holy Spirit gets His way, He wants to show himself to exactly. be great and right. he wants to heal he wants to deliver he wants to bring forth his power in our lives and i want more of that i That's definitely right. want more of that i mean to yeah. me church is boring without holy spirit oh, there i mean what, right. you know what amen <laughs> i'm just is. being honest i mean yeah. without the power of the holy spirit it, it's dead there's no life in it but that's yeah. the life of of god just breathing to yeah. through us and and for us in us and so yeah yeah and we're well, just ma making the stuff up jesus himself said you know that i mean when john the baptist when they were baptizing remember when he was baptizing with water he was telling all the people and it speaks of two baptisms. He says, I mm -hmm. baptize you with water, but yeah. there's one that's going to come that I'm not even worthy to untie his sandals. Right. It's going to baptize you in the Holy Spirit and right. with fire. Mm -hmm. So there's two baptisms that's talked about in the uh, word. So it's not like, oh, there's just water. No, there's a baptism of the Holy Spirit and fire. Mm -hmm. No one said that fire is a f gives you, comes in and burns out all the wheat and chaff that hinders you. Uh, with God and then also comes in and gives a fire for a fresh desire. Mm. I mean the fire right. of God is a powerful fire. It's something that you know like in the burning bush when God mm -hmm. talks about right. fire and he comes in fire I mean stuff happens. Yeah. It's a powerful fire. Yeah. It's not a fire that's going to uh, kill you or burn you in a wrong way. Right. It's going to burn you in the right way and it's going to burn Gosh. everything out mm -hmm. that hinders your walk with the living God right. and it'll come in with the fire yeah. and give you a desire to serve him in a new way. The Holy Spirit is power. Mm -hmm. He'll raise you from every dead place. He'll quicken your That's mortal right. body. Yeah. He'll give you truth. He'll comfort you. He'll counsel you. And right now you could be so broken and you need comforting. You need to call on the Holy Spirit. Yeah. And That's you know, right. all of you, all you do is just say, baptize yeah. me in the Holy Spirit and with fire. It's that simple. Just like receiving Jesus Christ as your Lord and yeah. Savior, simple, and you ask him to forgive you of your sins, That's right. simple. Mm -hmm. You just say, God baptize me. And it says, if my children would ask for bread, would I give them a serpent? Same thing, he says, yeah. I would not do, That's you know, right. give them That's right. something right. false or wrong. He'll give you the Holy Spirit. He'll baptize you with that fire, that yeah. power. And I'll tell you, I couldn't even walk out my salvation until I was baptized in the power of the Holy Spirit yeah. and fire. All of a sudden, I walked a new way. I had power yeah. and boldness Amen. to walk. Yeah. He brings all that, mm -hmm. doesn't he? It's he a springboard all for all the gifts. Yes. And that's yes. what you've got to know, that you're seeing people mm -hmm. that walk in, in yes. healing, walk in deliverance, walk in, and you go, well, Amen. why would they have? They have the Holy Spirit. That's how they're walking in that, right? right? Uh -huh. My husband and I were invited to a baptism this huge denomination in Dallas, and there were thousands of people in the church, and we went there for the baptism. And you know, we, we operate in all the churches that are filled with the Holy Ghost. Well, this church was dead. This young pastor who just obviously came out of seminary, his whole sermon, you know, he's filled with intellect and education, but he had no power. And it was, my husband and I are looking at each other and going, I don't believe this. 
And boy, I couldn't wait to rush home and to write him a letter about the baptism in the Holy Spirit. Right. See that mm -hmm. boldness coming out. Well, we're, yeah. not, we're yeah. not here for entertainment. And I think no. we've settled for entertainment mm -hmm. as opposed to really yeah. allowing the power Amen. of God. And mm -hmm. I mean, I know when I went from being an entertainer to a worshiper, the power came. I didn't mm -hmm. have the power before. Mm -hmm. We can't just use our gifts without yeah. the Holy Spirit activating and being the catalyst to them. Amen. That's awesome. Yes, we're nothing mm -hmm. without him, but we oh, with him. him. We're powerful. That's right. Yes. We're powerful. We're little Jesus is running around getting the <laughs> Amen. job done. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Amen. I love it. You can't mm -hmm. do anything without the Holy Ghost. That's Not right. a thing That's right. without the Holy Ghost. And then you start seeing people like Jesus sees mm -hmm. him. Yeah. You just love them. Yeah. You know, whether they're right or wrong or That's good true. or bad, mm -hmm. you just love them and, and you just want mm -hmm. them filled with the Holy mm -hmm. Ghost. And right. we all know, and I've said it uh, many, many times on this um, show, that um, if you uh, don't have the Holy Spirit and you're expecting all this power gifts to move in your life, which is prophecy, gifts of you know, you know, uh, tongues, interpretation of tongues, healing, all, you know, all of those they talk about in uh, Corinthians, those are an extension of the Holy Spirit. Uh -huh. They're an extension of Him. He's the one who uh, <laughs> gives those uh, gifts, and He's the one that backs up those gifts with power and, and truth and exact accuracy. Mm -hmm. And then we have Ephesians 4.11, that's gifts, ex uh, ascension gifts that Jesus left Himself in fivefold ministry, an apostle, prophet, teacher, pastor, all that, but we gotta go. Man, if you don't have the Holy Spirit, get baptized in the Holy Spirit. Amen. And if, especially if you don't know Jesus, you have to have Jesus first to even get baptized in the power of the Holy Spirit. The Word will open up to you. Things will open up to you. You'll start just having this, um, and it will be the unction of the Holy Ghost in everything that you need to do in discernment and everywhere. So just say, Jesus, come into my life. Forgive me of my sin. I confess with my mouth. I believe in my heart. I believe what they're saying. I really want this. I'm hungry for this. This is what I've been missing. And so it, 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 all you got to do, say, I know you died on a cross. You was rose again and, and from the dead and that you are Christ, the son of the living God. And you're coming back one day and I want to go. I want to be in heaven eternally with these people. And then say, baptize me in the Holy Spirit and with fire. Baptize me, God, in the Holy Spirit. It's that simple. And you'll be a different person. You would be a different person. Oh, we love you. And Jesus loves you so much more. He wants you saved today. He wants you set free. He wants you whole. He wants you delivered. He really, really does. But you've got to honor the Holy Spirit. Acknowledge the Holy Spirit. And I'll tell you, great things will happen in your life. Listen, if you are looking for somebody to give at your in giving, please consider us. Please consider this ministry. I know everybody always says, oh, they got all the money they need. They sit up there on TV and they're asking for money and blah, blah, blah. I've heard it all. Listen, we only ask because we need it. And God said, if you don't ask, you won't receive. And so if we've been a blessing to you and we've come into your home, maybe somebody got saved, you got saved through this ministry, please consider giving a gift one time or every month, whatever you can give nothing's too small nothing of course is too large we love you go to our website you can give securely there uh you and you can even you know people don't realize they can watch on droids and iphones mm -hmm. we have a uh, free app and you can just go there you can watch on roku you can watch on tv you can watch all over the place mm -hmm. but go on our website and please today donate donate securely and get our anointing oil 15 dollars love offering it helps us keep coming into your home with the gospel of jesus christ Mwah! Go to www.GodsViewTVShows.com to view all God's View TV show hosts, books, and CDs, Joshua and Jennifer Griffin's music CDs, Marianne Peluso's music CDs, Lana Gardner's books 